Welcome aboard, folks. I'm Admiral Bisk, and today we're playing some more Fallout 4. So last time we went to the giant anaconda thing to get a password for this door, and now we're going to use it. That's it. That, that's, that's all we got. What else you want from me? So, so I, a simple man. I told you that last time. Well, let's see what's going on with this cloning facility. Never been here. Yeah, probably because the door was locked, and you don't have the intelligence to get in here. But it's okay, because you're my buddy. And, and buddies, buddies hang out and have a grand old time together. That's what they do. Hey, buddy. You are not my actual buddy. I'm just saying that as like a turn of phrase. You are actually a guy that I would wish would be dead. All right. Yeah, I, you know, Kiri, that is a thing. That is a, that is a truth that you are sharing with me. And I appreciate truths sometimes. What do we got in here? We got a rat away. We got a... Nuke Cola, got a um. Ooh, we get some passwords. What? What are you doing? I'll go over there. Take this Nuka Cherry and the Stim Pack real quick, and then let's see. Ooh, and a Blood Pack. Blue. See what these are all about. We got Doctor McDermott's journals. Let's listen to 47B first. Play. This is Doctor Darren McDermott, last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility. Continuing my personal recordings. It's been. I stopped counting months ago. Or was it years? Even with the scientific equipment at my disposal, it's clear. There's no going back from what I've become. The radiation from the bombs has taken its toll on my body, twisting and deforming my physical appearance. But instead of falling into despair, I've embraced the change and used it as a basis for my new cloning research. Oh. Perhaps this curse will turn out to be a blessing. I just wish Dr. Hine was here to guide my hand. I feel lost without him. Hmm. Interesting. What about your other tape? So he, he was turned into a ghoul. We knew that. Last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility. Continuing my personal recordings. I've been continuing to modify the Nuka Gen Replicator provide a source of food. It's ironic that the very same device Nuka World was using to create its animal specimens for leisure has become integral to my survival. Using a tissue cell from a cow, I was able to replicate a viable clone, consume it as food, then use the remaining tissue to create another. I figure as long as the Nuka Gen replicator continues to function, I'll have an endless supply of food. Smart. Dr. Hine would be proud of my accomplishment. It's sad. It's been so long I've almost forgotten what he looked like. My God. It's been decades now. Maybe even a century or more, hasn't it? Has it been so long? Well, uh, He's sad. Continue recording later. Let's see what Dr. Hine's terminal had going on it. What information we ooh. It's about 1 a.m. I've just received a strange message via phone that I'm needed at the angry anaconda construction site to assist with an escaped animal that's been injured. I swear, those security guys need to be more careful with our specimens. Last time this happened, not only did one of the escaped buffalo end up with a broken leg, but the other died when security had the wrong dosage in the tranquilizer darts. I'll report my findings in the next entry. Alright, what else we got? I've had my third request for a budget increase denied due to the resources being diverted to this Project Cobalt. I'm hearing so much about... No, this Project Cobalt I'm hearing so much about. I hope Brad Burton realizes that Safari Adventure isn't just an amusement park. It's also home to several hundred living and breathing organisms, which have unique food, water, and environmental requirements. I've asked for more information on Project Cobalt, but I'm continually met with denials. For all the trouble it's worth, this project better produce something big. Was it... Was the project the Nukagen thing? What else we got? Thanks to Dr. McDermott's help. I've been able to isolate the segmentation tissues I've been having with PB041. The polar bears on the last segment kept coming out of the Nuka Gen replicator inside out and then exploding. I assume this was due to an incorrect sequence, but I've never been such a violent rea seen such a violent reaction from a specimen before. It was actually a rather spectacular result, strictly from a scientific point of view. What else we got here? Those damn AFAD idiots are at it again. 
it's only been a few weeks since they vandalized my Corvega by filling it with manure, but... And the security department assured me that there would be that would be the last time they were allowed anywhere near Nuka World. However, I arrived at the facility today to find Stop the Torture painted across the security door. I don't know why these morons think we're torturing animals. Anything that we need to dispose of in the laboratory is dealt with in a swift and rather humane manner. Oh, yeah, but the fact that you were killing them is probably what they were meaning. I think I drank a little too much last night when ringing in the new year. Woke up right next to the Nukagen Replicator's main terminal and a program was running. Looks like I was trying to sequence an anteater with 16 giraffe-type legs, scales, four eyes, and two tails. Amusingly, even in my inebriated state, I've created a fairly viable specimen sequence that could possibly work. I don't think the animal would live very long, but my scientific th uh, curiosity says I should give it a try. I'll have to consult Dr. McDermott. Wait. An anteater? 16 giraffe-type legs? What? Scales? Four eyes and two tails? Have I seen anything like that? Two tails, giraffe legs, four eyes, scales legs. Uh, I don't, I don't think I have. I feel like that might be something that I've seen, and and I just can't think of it. I don't know. I haven't seen anything. The, the sixteen legs is what's really making it difficult for me to think about. All right, we got Doctor McDermott's terminal. What's he got going? Ooh, got quite a few. My attempts at creating the Gator Claw continue. I have the correct samples of Jackson Chameleon and American Alligator in the mix, but keep sample, keeping sample 0334 stable, oh, Q334 stable, continues to elude me. If I intend to create a guardian creature for Safari's adventure, it has to be able to listen to and comprehend my commands. I was hoping the brain cells from Q334 would do the trick, but I've seen, the, I've seen failure after failure. I hesitate to throw the switch and see what happens. What if I can't control it? What if it ends up attracting more attention to the park? I think I'll check the sequence a few more times just to be sure. While foraging for food and supplies today, I stumbled across the remains of an astonishing biolog biological specimen. It was humanoid in appearance, but much larger. It had greenish colored skin and roughly human features. A super mutant, maybe? It appeared to be wearing clothing and had been recently killed by what looked like bullet wounds. After dragging it back to the laboratory, I began an extensive examination. My conclusion was that this was the genetic mutation of a human. I can only hope that whatever caused this remarkable mutation can be extracted and used for my own experimentation. I'm entering it into the record at sample Q334. Okay. What else we got? One of the two backup reactors for the laboratory died today. That leaves a single generator to run the facility's power. If that last reactor goes down, I may have to consider destroying the Nukagen replicator and abandoning the laboratory. Even though I could have already done this a long time ago, I realize that this machine could possibly be the last of its kind on Earth, meaning this could be mankind's only hope for repopulating the Earth with animals and returning the ecosystem to normal once conditions on the surface are suitable for habitation. How long has it been since the bombs fell and transformed me into this withered husk of a man? I can't even remember how much time has passed. I've started talking to myself aloud now. I think this loneliness is finally getting to me. I haven't seen a friendly human in such a long time. I've almost forgotten what it's like. Trying to concentrate on work is getting more and more difficult. Maybe it would be better if I ended it all now. But then I ask myself who would protect this laboratory from those who would seek to misuse its gifts. I suppose I have no choice. Last entry, what do we got here? It's been decades now, and my metamorphosis continues. My body's changing, adapting to the radioactive fallout in the air. Instead of my organs shutting down and my life being slowly drained away, my body is fighting back. My skin is thickened and become heavily wrinkled as if it's attempting to resist the radiation rather than allow it to penetrate my body. Rather than be horrified by the changes, I've decided to study them, to learn more about the effect this is having on the human body. Perhaps I'll use this data from the studies to find a cure one day. But for now, I'm just happy to be alive. Okay. So we know a little bit about what McDermott was up to. Neat. All right. That door... Oh, it has a terminal. Let's fucking open this. What do you got? Terminal. Security door control. 
open door. Security lock leads in. Sweet. What's in here? Bloop. Bunch of fridges. What was that? What was that noise? Why did I hear that noise? I hear a spooky noise. Let's open these fridges. They got anything in them? Probably not. Dude, this one's got a bunch of blood packs. Sure, why not? I'll take those. Find the men of science and institutes of learning. No. Surely they are out there. No, they're our Teddy. They all died. Shut up, Curie. No one wants to hear your ramblings. Anyway, onward to this way. Let me guess, there's a gator claw in here? Not quite yet, but I'm sure there's going to be one very soon. Oh, uh, how much you want to bet the end boss here is like a legendary gator claw? Yeah, I don't blame you, Sito. This place is fucking spooky. Ooh, especially now that it's all swampy. I hear something. Something skulking. Oh, you're what was skulking. I see you now. Let's... Ow. Ow. Eh. Why don't you, uh, get... Ooh. Why don't you get murdered? Get murdered there, guy! Yeah, just like that. What, what was that noise? Oh, yeah. I knew there'd be a legendary one. Or albino one. Oh. Albino did. Oh. Albino Gator Claw. Oh. 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 You're cool. Ooh. I knew the boss was going to be something big. I wasn't exactly sure what, but that makes sense. Hey, where'd Sito go? Sito just didn't want to come down here, I guess. Sito's being a little bitch, I guess. A little, little bitch Sito. And uh, his little gorilla friend, Chris. Ooh, what do you got? Stiffs. That's neat. Ah, here's Sito. Alright, cool. Well, uh, is there any more gator claws lying around? Any more, uh, skulking? I'll take this real quick. Uh, what else we got? Any of them? What are you? Terminal. What are you up to? Remote control. What? Unlock door. What? You mean in this pipe? Hatch? Oh, where's this go? What's this all about? What? Where's this go? Tanuka World. What the hell? What the fuck is this? Alright, well before we hit up there, let's finish what we came here to do. Before I go in there, I want to just do a little more exploring. Just a little bitty bit bit. Itty 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 bit more. I get this thing and this fusion core. That's mine now. Thank you. Alright, what do we got over here? Where is the, like, chamber that opens up to, like... I, I mean, I'd imagine that's what, what there is, but... How does, how does this thing work? Like, where do they pop out of? Where do the, where do the monsters come from? What's this take? Play. This is Dr. Darren McDermott, last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility. Continuing my personal recording. Okay. I ventured outside today and almost got spotted by a group of wasteland scavengers that had wandered into Safari Adventure. Therefore, against my own better judgment, I'm going to attempt to splice a few of the more dangerous samples I have left in cold storage. Why? I need to use the new Gen replicator to create some sort of specimen that's formidable, yet trainable. Something that can protect me, but most importantly, protect this facility. It will take some time to work out the chemistry and mathematics of the data. But I'm confident I can create a viable specimen within a few years. Yeah, um, and then you I made Gator Claws, and they fucked everyone. This course of action. But he is near, and I can't let this equipment fall into the wrong hands. I mean, it's a noble cause. I get that. I get, I get what he was doing. He was trying to keep this from going to the people that would fuck with it. But you ended up fucking with it, dude. Come on now. You made Gator Claws, man. That's not good. Disable current... Before we do that, program history. Subject to survive... Codename Gator Claw. Subject to survive the incubation period, but appears to be in a highly volatile and aggressive state. Infusion of command recognition patterns appears impossible. Recommend termination of subject and resequencing after study period in isolation. Sample Q334 continues to be unstable and unpredictable. The bull. Alright, what else you got? Subject failed to survive the incubation period. Coding none. 
Cellular breakdown occurred within one hour of resequencing. Sample remitted to the incubator, no, incinerator. Next attempt will adjust formula mixture from sample Q334. All right, what else you got? Code name none. Subject survived incubation period, but exhibited extreme levels of ionizing ra radiation. Contamination makes the subject too dangerous for command recognition patterns. Sample remitted to the incinerator. Next attempt will adjust formula mixture from sample Q334 and will provide better shielding for the segmentation chamber. All right, neat. Let's disable the current replication pr procedure. Please in input command. Uh, input new command. What other commit? Resume Q replication procedure. Why would I want to do that? Uh-oh. 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 Nope, nope, nope. I didn't want to do that. I, I, I just wanted to know what would happen if I press the button. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more now. Oh, there's more coming out now. Go away. I don't want more. Yeah, uh, disable the current replication procedure. I just wanted to see what would happen if I hit re uh, resume. Procedure Hein 4222 Gazelle in progress. Please wait until incubation is complete before selecting new command. Oh. Yeah, you can make gazelles. That's fine. Make gazelles. Hello, Mr. Gazelle. Hello, Mr. Gator Claws. I'm gonna need you to fuck off and die. I'm gonna just, uh... Yeah, that one's dead. Good. One more. Come on. Give me a reload. Curie, don't stand in the way of my bombs. Alright, we got three more Gator Claws we gotta kill to secure this place. Where are they at? They must be running around outside, I guess. Uh... Okay. But where? And did they... They came out of here, right? This is where they popped out of? What is the... I want to know... So if it's a cloning machine, right? Like, shouldn't there be like a spot that they pop out of that the clones come from? Where do they come from? Because it doesn't... I would have imagined this, but... This almost seems like just a tunnel that leads outside. Maybe there's like a big machine out here? Because there's the, the, the computer over there. But where is it sending the signal to and making the clone? Like, what? That's what I want to know. I want to see the incubation pod and whatnot that, that he was talking about. He was talking about an incubation period, right? Where does that happen? Can I... Can I be outside, please? Can I outside, please? Please? Can you put me outside? Stop at the loading screen, please? Or we can just have a forever loading screen. It's fine. I wanted a nap anyway. Because mm, I'm getting kind of tired. I didn't eat much today. I had like a couple of chicken wings from uh, la uh, leftover from last night as my food. Okay. Uh, am I still just trying to find gators? Because I don't know where they all are. There's some in the reptile house. And it seems like there's some in the Safari Adventure still. And the Welcome Center. But I didn't see any. And I don't know how to get into the Reptile House. Uh. Okay, I, I guess I'll go back inside and maybe there's one I missed somewhere, I guess. But I think there's, what, three more I need to kill? Does that mean there's only two in the Reptile House then? Well, this is saying I gotta go outside too. Uh, find the hidden cappies. I never did that. But, oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, shit. Let's, let's zoom in. It's far adventure. No, they're all outside the park. Okay, they. I mean, they're all inside the park somewhere. There's one in the reptile house. Uh, one just hanging out in the middle. So there's probably two in the reptile house and one just hanging out. All right. So let's go back outside then and see what we can do about... Get out of the way! Fucking... Ah. This is why I hate having a bajillion followers is they are all in the way and you can't go anywhere and you can't move. I don't want to keep... I, I don't really have much time left, but I feel like there's not enough for another episode. But... Uh, this is gonna end off here. So for now, if this made you smile, leave it a like, leave a little comment. Thanks for watching. And as for the use, remember to stay gold. Bye bye.